Hey, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel, Bales 1986 SW. Today is Thursday, so this is a way in update. Do apologise for the late up upload, it's just that we've got family over from um, Toulouse, so we've gone and seen them today, and, and I always um, record my weighing days um, on the actual day I get weighed. So, last week I gained eight and a half pound due to me being on my holly bobs. So this week I really wanted a loss and I made sure that I would do everything possible to get a loss. Um, I've had an amazing week on plan. I basically followed this to the T. I've weighed and measured those A's and B's because sometimes we can get a little bit complacent um, like a dash of milk or a little bit of cheese and sometimes just going back to the the basics and having your first week again on this plan can really really um, do a lot for your confidence it can spark the joy back in the plan um, and that's what i have done this week i've had some lovely meals i've had cajun chicken pasta i've had uh, spaghetti bolognese chili con carne some tacos um, I've had a, a, a pork dinner um, for Sunday with a Yorkshire pudding which I sinned and some gravy which was sinned. I've enjoyed my treats on an evening. Um, I've had a few like like a Freddo or um, a lot of fruit on an evening and also as well I've had, um, you'll see in my Friday finds, um, I've had some crisps um, which I've thoroughly loved with some hummus. Um, that's been my evening snack. I like that like hand to mouth action as well. Um, so yeah, that's been my week. I've had an amazing week. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I felt like I've not been deprived or that I'm missing out. I've just, I've just loved it. And when I went to McDonald's with the kids and uh, Max is having his Big Mac meal and his Coke and I sat there with my Coke and I didn't feel like I was deprived or like felt left out because what I thought to myself and it's all about mindset I think is that I'd rather see a loss on scales than have the, that chicken nugget and french fries because in that moment I'll absolutely enjoy it and then I'll get the, the self blame and things like that which you know if I wanted to have an off plan meal then it's it's normally planned um, but I, I did without um, I was going to have a salad but they ran out of salads so um, I had a Diet Coke and I made something at home um, but I'm glad I didn't I'm glad I didn't make that choice or thought well I've tried for a salad I, I did my best there weren't a salad so I'm going to have this this and this because I was on my higher end on my sins that day also talking about sins I haven't gone over more than 12 sins um, and that's just felt I've, I've really enjoyed that um, I like to be between like 12 and 13 sins a day um, if I'm really feeling the that I need some more then I will go up to my 15 um, but I've never felt that like I needed to and just staying around the 12 area I mean one day I only had five sins um, so it all it all depends um, but overall the week has been amazing and I've thoroughly enjoyed it so today we got on those scales as we say and I lost four and a half pounds Ching! Um, so I have got I am twelve stone five and a half pounds with a weight loss of four stone and seven pounds. So this week I would like another loss. Um, there's no rush. I am happy in myself. I like what I see in the mirror. Don't get me wrong. I do prefer when I'm back at um, my five stone loss bracket. That's where I feel the the most happiest i'm happy now but that's where i just feel that a little bit more confident and things in myself um but there's no rush to get there um i've come a long way um from the way i look to my outcome on life and my confidence and um this this is just part of the journey i hate that word but it's just part of it and um i will get back there um as long as I keep following this and um, I get a really good mindset, then that, and um, that's all that matters. Um, so yes, I am looking for a loss this week, whatever that will be, win, win. Um, 
it's bank holiday, I'm not doing anything, bank holiday, well I say I'm not doing anything, my mum and dad have got a farm and my mum and dad are going, well my dad's going semi-retired and my mum's going fully retired, um, so they're packing up the farm, so we're using Chris's van just to move some of their um, furniture from the farm up to the other property in Sedgeburg. So we've got that at the weekend. The kids are going with their grandparents, uh, Michelle and Alan, my in-laws, um, Sunday night till Monday so we can get up first thing on the Monday um, and get down to the farm and then take it all the way back up north. So that's what we're doing Monday and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the supermarket for the, I call them expensive fruit pots, but the little fruit pots with like pineapple in and melon and use them as car snacks um, because you know what it's like you get the mint imperials or the, the polos and it's your hand to mouth while you're driving well I don't drive you know what I'm trying to say like um the husband were driving um, so I'm going to prepare that um, my mum and dad will have a meal um, ready for me at the farm um, and then yeah so I'm going to be prepared I'm going to be on plan because I want to see a loss on Thursday um, my kids go back on Wednesday, so from Wednesday onwards, it's back to normality. Um, yeah, I said I did say that I was going to do some more what I eat in a day, but I've got to say this week because it's been the last week. Um, my kids been off school. Um, I've really like made the most of the kids um, because they're only young once so we've had swimming we've had arts and crafts where they've been to a dance we've said dance camp it's just been hectic so i've not been able to get the camera out and do a what i eat in a day but don't worry next week hopefully tuesday i'm thinking because tuesday they um tuesday or wednesday i might do a what i eat in a day um because just normality gets back into it and i feel like it's easier um so yeah, and also as well, if you do follow my book club, which is on Instagram, I hold my hands up. I have been slacking in the book club, that is for sure. But what I'm going to do is on Sunday, um, I'm going to do an Instagram live on my book club and tell you what's going to happen for the foreseeable future. Um, I've got some really good plans in place for that. Um, so that is my weigh-in update. Hope you have a wonderful week on plan. As always, food optimizers and huge positive thoughts. Rachel, bye!